You don't know. What's, we, uh, oh, go ahead. What's with the emergency? I, I understand the emergency shotgun behind you. We all have that. But the emergency dildo underneath. <laughs> what uh, <laughs> what problem did you come across that made you say I need another dildo? Well, this rack? is my this is my Maddox Defense Squad. Actually, a a, um, a listener made this gun custom for me. Um, it's pretty cool, Kyle. You probably know way more about it than me. Let's see. But he's some kind of a gunsmith. This dude, Caleb Zlotnick. Oh, cool. Uh, I yeah, only know a nice looks, little yeah. uh, nice little grip on there for you. Yeah, right. Extended awesome. magazine. I think it's an 870, huh? Yeah. Uh, it's hard to tell. Oh, well, it's awesome. Have you taken it out and shot it yet? No, I have not. Um, it's uh, This is my emergency defense. Either either I blast them away with this one, or you know, I kind of taunt them away with the wiggle <laughs> dildo in the world. See, right. you're missing the middle ground where you have an <laughs> underbarrel dildo launcher. Oh, yeah, one of these. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the underbarrel dildo launcher. Or just use it like a, a bayonet. bayonet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give that, it a nice cock slapping. That's a lot of dildo. That's that's <laughs> excessive. I I mean I have a bigger one, but I mean that's that's that that's a big dildo you got but, there. That's but you dildo fun. on an Olympic level. Yeah. And, and and it's you know, it's it's meant to be that long. It's it's a double dildo. That is not a double dildo though, Dick has. No, that's just one. I, no, that's, that's yeah, one same. lady. That has why a scrotum. Would share a dildo <laughs> with that? I mean, why would a lady oh never mind. There could be <laughs> there could be more than one lady, Dick. There could be. And hopefully there are. I mean, if the internet's it's, taught me anything, there's really no limit. It's no. embarrassingly fun to wiggle around. Like, you wouldn't think it, but for some reason you get it in your hand, you're like, oh, I can't stop doing this. It's like it's like doing the pencil, like when you wiggle a oh, pencil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks rubbery. It. Yeah, but it's like, you know, also a penis. Yeah, it's like that, uh, but you couldn't do it in public. Or yeah. you'd be frowned upon. Yeah. Yeah, your fans do the coolest fan art and contribution shit like high effort stuff all the time like who knows if you know that that dildo <laughs> that was probably like 50 bucks how much are dildos kyle like pretty expensive yeah um probably yeah. something you don't want to cheap out on depends what it's made of and where it's made but uh that could be that could be like a 75 75 dollar dildo you got there i really feel like the margins are too high in the dildo industry am i the only one no, no, know. they are. Yeah, I, I feel like that's a fifteen dollar item that they're selling for seventy five with five dollars in materials. Could be. Tops. It's a bit, but we don't know how much mass there is there. What if it's very heavy and very dense? <coughs> I mean, that that's that's what you're looking for in a dildo. You want some weight to it, especially a self defense dildo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You don't want to be hitting people with like a, a wet noodle over there, some spongy cock. No, you want uh, some mass behind those blows. That explains. What about those dildos uh, that we look at the self defense store that's just guns and then it kind of is a gradient into sex toys? And lock maybe... and cock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dave and Busters, but. Uh, cock and lock might be a little better. But yeah, that would be a great. That'd be a great store. Let's invest in that and lose a lot of money. <laughs> because people won't feel comfortable going in. I like the Both of the target dildos. markets there, I don't think, would want to in- interact with the other target market. You know, you'd have a bunch of rednecks on one side and then a bunch of, you know, deviants on the other. I, I really like the idea of a dildo bayonet, though. That people would buy that. Like if you if you made a dildo bayonet for AR fifteens, like, like everybody likes buying those weird attachments for the for the for AR fifteens. Oh, I've seen like brass knuckle grips yeah. and all kinds of shit. They'll there were a that. bunch of photoshops of dildo bayonets. I remember when CNN tweeted that ridiculous gun image where they're like, "This is a custom AR," and it had a fucking chainsaw <laughs> underneath <laughs> it, and like people photoshopped that out to put like other guns under there and like a dildo, <laughs> and then like just an infinite regression of more and more smaller AR fifteens. Godzilla's <laughs> down there. <laughs> is there actually an, a chainsaw like a, a attachment to it. like yeah. Gears of War? Yeah, yeah, that was their example of like the AR-15 is horrifying and it can be modified in many ways. Look at this chainsaw gun. <laughs> it's like, even in movies, they're like, let's put a chainsaw. That's unrealistic. No, uh, it's not. Uh, you never How could know. that be helpful? never know what you might need to do. 